very easy fights with a very immobile uh, Rumble, Jin, and Corky. Oh, we'll see if he wants to propose maybe the Udi instead. So keep going for a bit that honestly has not just ceased to. Hang on, bit of a dive in. Okay, not going to turn into anything. Well, you don't necessarily have uh, dive buddies with you in this cup position. I'm going to hold that thought. Dwayne being pulled in by PP God, but it's being turned around. Dwayne misses the Zenith by force a flash and star. He finishes first blood. I was about to say, I don't think Sway wanted that E to hit onto I was Pippi. kind of surprised, but I suppose he would have been pinched by Angel. OMG, four men strong on this one. Shout out, looks like he wants to contest, but he's going to be too late. Dragon already down, and Chwe's just going to get chunked on out. The health bars are low. PP got flash and safety. Shout out, one reset. His Vickler arrives. Assume finishing the job on Starry. Flashes to safety. Dodges the stun from Xiaofeng as well. He finally goes down, but the resets it's are coming old. through. He's trying to turn things around. Ults back away, but it's a double for Vickler. An angel just about surviving, but on the wrong side of the map. There's nowhere for him to go. Shout out, chase sink down and RA look dominant in the early game one more rocket from Vic the rocket go through the because that's up to me if they choose to put into the place. I mean it's that's a TP it's two TPs one from either side but it's not gonna <laughs> lead to those early resets this is why we see him a lot paired up with PP God, getting oh. that initial engage with the Nautilus. Hook on to Xiao Hao. He's going to be locked up here, but the health bars are low. Vickler flashes to finish the job. Angel with a spire and despair. Maybe they can turn this one around onto Vickler, and Ooh. they can. One for one. There's a nice hook from PP God, and here comes Starry to finish the job. Dway down, Angel with two. Absolutely. OMG, off the back of conceding Bye. the Herald, will get prior mid. And uh, just use those four crops to immediately finish. Not going to be able to contest the actual Drake itself. Angel did TP in. Maybe they want the fight. The Drake almost resetting here. The Drake will go down. RA get the objective. Can they get the fight as well? Xiao dives into the action, but Cube is here. Equalizer on the back line. Kurt Cole comes through, but Dwey is so low that he's just going to be finished off. And a, a hook onto Xiao Hao. Resets galore. Xiao Feng taking over and assume forced out of the backside of the play. Yeah, screw the dragon. OMG did not care about the dragon to begin with. They care about taking those fights since they are ahead right now, pushing Xiao that Xiu. advantage. Oh, Xiao You're Xiu. going nowhere, buddy. Everyone has come down to the bot lane to finish their job. Four kills for a single Cloud Drake. OMG over the moon. Absolutely, they're taking the tower at bot lane. Uh, that bot lane tower, oh my god. It's very difficult in the morning. I'm going to tell you not to unfortunately sell it to make uh, a more worthy purchase people. Wave crashing in the top side. Cube is here to protect his mid lane. A TP though to guarantee the tower and Angel's in trouble. They want to deny the Medjai Spiral in Sparrow. Xiao Hao is not enough. One kill, Medjai's denied, but here comes Xiao Funk to finish the job. But he can't quite finish those kills. First reset finally through and it dodges the solar flare. Second reset in. Vickler trying to finish the job and will do so, but out one cost. CC lay it down, Dway to fall, and OMG find another fight. Oh Five my. minutes time from now to try and stop the soul from going over to OMG. The very firmly on the driver's seat right here for OMG and uh, Angel is sticking to the Magi's. He's sticking to his guts. He's still. I feel like they're incredible at stopping people from coming through choke points, especially uh, that way right there. However, they're not cleared out completely. Uh. The vision. Oh, look at the equalizer. It's across everyone. That is a massive equalizer. Curtain call comes through. Good return damage from Angel. But it's just going to be a single Five pick. Seconds. This should just be RA's Drake at this point. They get a tier one in the mid lane as well. OMG with a very over eager Baron call immediately lose two. OMG. Lost again in their own shoes. Cannot figure out a way to pull out these fights when I... I'm okay with it if it leads to a team fight. I'm fully on board. Dway hunting here. The cube is an absolute brick wall at this point in the game. If you've got to be tanky. Chain of Corruption comes out. It's Hansen with a solar flare and the root comes down from the deadly flourish. Look at the long range oh. combo onto Starry, but they can't finish the job. PP God goes down on the front line and the false shot from Assume finds his mark. Onto the rest of OMG. RA diving forward. CC Chain onto Cube. He's tanky, but not tanky enough. And Xiao Feng, he finds one reset. But that's all he'll find. RA back on top. Way is very, very dangerous around the Baron pit, but I don't think he has 
any sort of vision to walk up. He's going to ping that bot lane wave and push that one instead. Our A. So we are oh, absolutely oh, oh, we take those. We take those absolutely. Angel did not die in the previous fight. However, not many away oh, members. Apparently, should be able to finish this tier two. Bottom side in the meantime, Vickler trying to finish the tier two in the mid lane. Will be able to do so with the help of that cannon. So Soul is coming up, which is going to be denied yet again from RA having so much control due to the Baron buff. England tier two went down. And I will say, RA, I'm impressed by this mid to late game. Xiao Feng has overstepped on this one, has to ult himself out for safety in the meantime. Joy trades his own life for it. Trial and Spec finishes the job. Xiao Feng survives. Xiao Hao on the front line, but Q is unkillable and he's chasing Vickler on the top side. Blast guns out to safety as Xiao Zhu. Oh, but the good call comes through to finish the job. PP got down. Starry flashes away, but he flashes into Vickler. Xiao Hao survives. Starry goes down. Double for a zoom. And oh. R8. Wait, Q? He's from one on the top side. This this fight is ridiculous. Hey, to his defense, Cube was just backing, okay? He was resetting in the pixel burst and Shao Hao just really showed that mid because they can control space so, so well. Ooh, so he's gonna miss the E there. Pokemon to assume they're coming out from Vertical Starry. Aero. Hook comes in. Chain of Corruption to follow it up as well. Spiral in despair. Joy's gonna go down. Ooh. That's first reset. Shao Hao trying to answer. Xiao Fang actually just ults out of the play, escaping with his own life. It's 4v4 on the play now. But Xiao Fang yeah, barely Xiao alive. Ward's cleared. This time around, so it's not as dicey as it has been previously. TP comes out from Xiao Shu. He's got 10 seconds till his ult comes up. Curtain call into the play. PP got jumped, but Q blocks it. Baron down for OMG, but Xiao Shu on the flank on the top side, and Angel turns golden. He keeps himself alive. Sorry, stuck in the pit. No flash available. He dies for the cause, but it is so incredibly worth it. Finally, this is soul for OMG. They got the Baron as well. After all of that in the mid game, everything going so sad. I mean, look, he survived. That's all that matters yeah. for him. <laughs> One zero in that exchange. And now, a, so you cannot overextend underneath the tower. I mean, they, they can't even deal with the cannon. <laughs> OMG just defend the cannon in the mid lane. And that'll be one tower going down. Baron times out. So those cannons in the bot side won't quite finish this tower. Vickler can clear the wave. Q can't finish the job. Here we go, Kurt Cole with an equalizer on top. The CC chain is there, but the damage isn't. And now they turn it around. OMG find one onto Dre, and they look for more on Xiao Hao as well. But hang on a second, Xiao Fang forced away, has GA, and keeps himself alive anyway. Doesn't even need the GA. Is Xiao Hao the target now? Ran out of ultimate and ran out of life. Xiao Shu burning him down. Starry into GA. There are just so many GAs, but it might not matter anyway. Assume still going strong. Vickler's still alive. Xiao Fang forced the flash, but finished by Assume. It's traded though, one for one on the end of the fight. OMG, just about That's a disaster for RA. Yeah, Starry had to use his ultimate right there to try and keep him intact, but so many other ultimates that can pin down members of OMG. And let's oh see, God. sorry, members of RA. RA just gonna walk in. They still have this, Fiona ult. They could this take feels impossible. Here. They're going for it. PP got the target equalizer Ooh. down across the team. PP got slow. Solar Flare hits onto both carries as well. Dway jumped though and will fall. Baron taken by OMG as the fight kicks up. 5v4 still for OMG. And RA just gonna back away. OMG. All the way to that elder. Shop was in the pit. He's pretty tanky at this point, but I don't know if he's tanky enough to just stay in the pit. There's no blast going um, to get back out of this one. Has flash available and forced to use it with Elder up. Okay, equalizer across the team. Sorry, the target, Shaoshu flashes forwards. Can't quite find his mark though. Carry still alive. 7k on Elder. Crescent Guard used once again. Spiral and Spare in the play. Shao Hao trying to get in. Starry dies. They're into the pit. But Shao Hao falls. And suddenly it's absolute carnage. Assum goes down. Shao Feng with a reset. But Angel's still going strong. He's next to the Elder Dragon and he takes another. OMG. Finally finish things out and take the Elder Dragon. OMG used the numbers advantage that they had in this fight to take down our A. They focus Xiao Hao, who's the only member that can turn this story sour for OMG. They take him down and they take down our A with him. Those fights in the late game were so chaotic oh from God. both sides. But OMG, kings of the chaos in the end. 28 to 17 of 47. This is a very obvious composition, very easy to play. Like, 
I like that. <laughs> Why would you like OG struggling in the mid games? Like, let's have just a simple win condition to work with. I think that's a great idea. I love that. There's a like you mentioned. I, think I will say off the back of those lane swaps. There's a CS lead up top. I'm going to hold that thought though, because Xiao Hao, I don't think he's going to be as respectful as his opponent in this dive. Starry with a great little dash, but he flashes into the crash down. It's a double stun from Jue. Zoom takes the tower shot. A tower aggro has reset. They can go for a re-dive here if they want to. PP got stunned. Lightning from the sky as Jue Ooh. flashes back onto the tower and he survives. Xiao Feng now stuck underneath the tower on his lonely own. Some of the twisted advance is good, but Xiao Hao, the only one to fall for RA. Magnificent dive. Really, and getting a kill right here, and we do see how accelerated that way can get with just a couple of kills give so much damage into his inventory, all this gold being piled up, so RA right there with a, a great result. Oh, Ooh, flash. flash forward from assume that's gonna be a kill on PP Con. Honestly, RA's bot lane is kind of smith. Great it is. response to the lane swap that OMG forced in this particular game. We've got another very great flash aggression coming out from Asum on the top, on the bot side to get yet another kill and the first dragon collected right Starry here. moving up to that top side to get the grubs. Assuming the B time though, He's uh, 20 CS up at this point. That's a fifth plate as the first tower goes down. Him getting more so aggressive, he will take a huge chunk of his game to be taken away it's by so the suffering. However, right now, because of how RA controlled the entirety of the map through the pure pressure of Asum, oh, hold on, Big Club. Bolts on the he's tower fine. from Xiaofeng. I think he's going to be okay. Just one shot's the way. He didn't necessarily get given the space to do that. He didn't give him, he didn't get given the space to bully Vikla out of lane. Because Vikla walks back. It's it's really fun to watch. Now, going back into this and what you said, the people having a thousand gold lead. I think the most important thing is that item that's standing in oh, his But that dot is already starting to get real annoying. I'm, I'm curious to see how that continues. Starry gets a good pressure in this mid game as well despite the early deficit still able to use this Lucian extremely well to control the mid lane this is what you want to see from a Lucian demolished from Angel as well that is a third tier one taken OMG honestly doing a really good job of getting these side lane towers down getting the mid lane tower down it could be something saucy this is the third trade for RA though on the scene already, Cube. This is the flank we talked about. This is his moment. Come on, Cube. Have a big play. It's Dragon taken by RA. Cube onto the back line. He gets onto Vickler, but he doesn't quite have the damage to finish the job. And Vickler turns Gordon. Cube looking a bit more like a square. Yeah, two members down from OMG. Maybe that fight can look a bit different. And again, there's Ninja awesome. Tabby's on the zoom, so I don't know. Oh, Dre dives in. Ultimate comes out. Wait, My god. OMG, <laughs> you're being obliterated. I blinked and he died. I didn't see who. I didn't see what did the same. What I'm seeing right now is that RA, no, there's two members down from OMG. No smite available. OMG's TPing into these. They're bringing QB in. Yeah, they got to try and do something they can't afford to lose. Baron at this point, Starry calling across the team. Good damage on to Jue, but they're just going to turn it into a fight. Cube gets in the middle of everyone with that Dominus, but he's just not tanky enough. There's so much damage on this RA roster. Cube cut down, everyone surviving. And they start the Baron again. Health bars are blinking. Angel in the area. Can he make the miraculous occur? Xiao Shu on the front line. Xiao Hao can block as well. 3k on the Baron. Angel trying to get damage onto this Cassante, but he's just too tanky. He's still almost coming back against our OMG in the previous game. This game, when they have the lead in the end of the game, oh my god, they're taking them apart. Yeah, absolutely. And they're first on the neutral objective, threatening. If OMG walks in, they're dead. Soul for RA if they can get it. Cube on the front line needs to be the tank, but he just ain't that tanky. Big Club lost the flash, though, and Roots across the team, tired of wave across the team. They can't finish a kill. That was so many ultimates used by OG. And uh, Jue just dives into everyone, plays distraction while the soul is taken. RA, they're happy with no fight. Xiao Shu. TP's been pulled. They want to the sandwich them. Massive flank TP from Xiao Shu. Xiao Feng might spot him here. Should be able to get the brush. Okay, it doesn't matter if he's spotted because he's making the play. Angel just jumps over. Xiao Feng flashes out. 
I could be honest, that, that might safe. be the most... <laughs> in, illegal, in, in illegal flags this game. And it's not your Yasuo in the team, right? It's in the enemy team. You've stomped him in lane. Suddenly, though, this Yasuo's 100 CS up when you go into the late game. Remember last game, OMG really struggling to start any Baron. Like, it felt like the comp couldn't do it. Felt like the rumble was a big problem. Uh, RA just instantly started once again. Xiao Xu gets onto Xiao Feng. That's Baron taken. Maybe a fight from OMG. Angel, oh no, the fate's call. It saves Dre's life, but OMG, they don't even get the singular. Wow. And they're preserving a lot of their ultimates for the big fights to come. Shadowhound trading a little blows. Uh, jungle there. There's but, no ults from OMG. I mean, OMG They've just, them all. What can they do? What on earth can they do? Shields, like, I feel like. In theory, you'd think Ocean Soul would be best against AP Maokai, but honestly, the Mount Soul denying the in initial poke. Xiao Feng with a spiral in despair on him. will walk away with his life. It just feels... I mean, you can't even contest for vision here. In the meantime, Angel has What's been forced out on the bottom side of the play. It's about one HP as he walks away from that one. It means Cube goes down. I don't know why we were looking at Red Buff this whole time. There is CP for Angel, but there's also a base that's under attack by double super minions who cannot TP him yet. One team might have to try and steal this. Impossible. <laughs> oh. on top. Only five seconds on the Baron buff, but they're going to TP to the wave to protect it. So, tower goes down. Starry just about dodges the Q3 coming out from Shaoshu. As now, all right, Elder in hands. Surely this is the moment. Cube still not up for another five seconds before he can get into the play. And to be honest, there's not really any good wards from TP2. Uh, I don't think OMG have a play right here. <laughs> all right, I mean, are just waiting for the minutes to come. They, they don't even have brushes oh, for the what? AP Maokai to play off of. I think that was a, a collateral damage <laughs> there coming out from Xiao Hao. This one is over. OMG have been absolutely smacked by RA, and RA are enjoying it. Getting bonus kills on the back of everything. The Nexus will fall. RA take us to three. This is who do you all first? Uh, can you actually get your ult properly off? Like, it's very easy to interrupt the Malzahar ult. You need to hit him. You know, obviously you need to get through the spell shield first, but like, if there's a Nautilus nearby, Angel is not channeling a refill pot. He's quite happy to trade HP with the Malzahar to set up for a potential all-in. That's the level six hit for Vickler. Jway is moving into the mid lane as well, but Angel's hit six too, but he's hooked out of his own ultimate. This is looking for a reset for Xiao Hao. One more HP on Angel, but the Conqueror oh finishes the job. Xiao Hao gets first blood away from the tower shots, but he's gonna go down himself. Xiao Feng dashes away, and it's a one for one in the end. Angel. The angle there it does lead to a small advantage for Vickler. Got the assist. He's picked up a Dark Seal, by the way. So obviously feeling confident. Mm. I feel like against Balzahar, Dark Seal. I mean, obviously just buying the Dark Seal is such high value as an item if you can get it stacked. Against Malzahar, it feels like it's quite hard to stack that. Uh -oh. So you can go down, but the double chain's going to come on through. Xiaohao gets a stun as well. Angel, oh god, it's a disaster. Yeah, Let's get no. those mics online. Feels pretty good for RA, especially since they're getting Drake on top. Yeah, and they felt like there was not much else needed to do right there, especially since they got the four secured. They had a mid lane crash, like you mentioned. They could get free range over the dragon. Oh, Starry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Starry has flash available, but he does not have chance to use it. I think he needed to get over the wall a bit earlier. As soon flies in and finishes the kill. However, you mentioned how difficult it is for OMG to face check a LeBlanc. Oh, flash forward from Angel, sets up for a pick. That's Dre going down. And honestly, a pick should be oh, enough. Later on, which OMG cannot reply to. However, RA, I think they can contest a 3 before. Shout out, I'm going to go for this one. No, okay. Drake taken by OMG and a Absolutely great little... huge, especially since you've got a lot of that. Pick on position, very opportunistic with the Blanc, the Nautilus, uh, the Diego, the Kaiser jumping into the back line. Kind of on Oh, very nice again from OMG. They've done this three games in a row, actually, where they managed to catch RA on side lane pressure, taking that mid lane tower. And I agree with you. I feel like RA, they just have to let their Jax and LeBlanc be shot back. You've got Vickla being an absolute nuisance from the top side of the map as well. So it makes it very difficult to walk in. However, Cube is going to find himself between four members. Uh, Cube, this is not your side of the map anymore, buddy. You can't just be stood in River. Everybody's here, the whole gang. It's an RA party in the bot lane. And it's going to be Q that goes down. That's a second drink for RA. 
uh, the Baron was pinged for a second right there. From the side of OMG, they were thinking for a second, hey, if they're gonna pressure bot lane, maybe we can uh, we can put some pressure towards Baron, that's not gonna be the case. Ooh, very good, just go for it. You want Roy D, go for it. You want a death cap at the end on your build? Freaking go for it, it just works. It does just so much damage, and it does kind of answer the late game hyper carry. Oh, starry. Oh, starry. Not realizing this is not his side of the map anymore. Vicla goes wide on the chains. Wait, Maybe Starry can get away out. with this one. Shaofeng arrives and protects his AD carry. It's Xiao Hao to go down, and the turnaround for OMG. Look at Xiao Shu next. He flies in, but a lamppost won't do squat. OMG head to Baron. Call an ambulance. Soon. Does have his ultimate up and available. He's been a nuisance with the W as well. Again, if he does hit, he lowers no the cooldown. What can OMG do? No spike for the side of RA. They decide not to contest in the end. Baron taken down by OMG. When the it same incident doesn't happen as the last dragon right here, because OMG having the Baron, you can have immense pressure on the map. Harvard Q getting caught by a chain. He's tanky. I think he's okay with them trying to commit to him because in the meantime, the rest of his team is doing Drake here. That's Drake taken for OMG. So long as they can get away with it. In the meantime, CC chain lands on Xiaofeng. In goes Vickler for some damage, but he just takes it back from Starry. Huge damage out of the Jinx, but Xiaohao gets a reset. And PV gone next on the chopping block, trying to escape to the rest of his team. He's tanky. And he will get out with his life. Oh. Off the way, trying to get some priority from the team. Vickler is looking back. Angel is literally on the side. Remember, there's a QSS. Jue goes for this one, counter strike, bolt to the back side of the play as well. Everybody diving on in, but Angel ults Xiao Hao. He's answered with his own life for this one. Vickler flashes back out of the play. RA looking for more, it's a double stun. Starry chased down and taken down as well. RA with four and looking for more. Over the wall they go as Xiao Feng desperately tries to escape. The stun goes wide, and I think Xiao Feng might actually get out of this one. Oh, it's a disaster from Xiao Hao, but either way, it's a one play for RA. RA finally committed to the play! You only have one Malzahar button to so many threats. RA could be looking to end the game right here, right now, and taking the series. Oh my god, it's actually over, isn't it? Xiaofeng has to try to get that wave, but they're not the letting it anywhere near it. That's the first Nexus Tower going down. Xiaofeng pulled in, but they can just ignore the jungler and it's take over. the Nexus. RA have done it. They find their upset, and they prove that they should not be underestimated.